Sean Watson met with the media on speculation that he wants out of Cleveland. That was national, as well as a lot of people thinking he doesn't want to play. I wouldn't ever want to play. I just, I just worked my ass off for two years to get back to playing. So why wouldn't I want to play? This is what I've been doing since I was six years old. So why wouldn't I want to play? I see the, I see the same things. I see all the, the narratives, this, that, the third. I mean, all that stuff is just trying to call controversy and, and, and commotion. You know, I'm fine. I'm happy. Uh, I'm not happy with the injury, but uh, you know, I'm, I'm in a great space mentally. I'm in a great space spiritually. Uh, physically, everything else is in a great space except my shoulder. Uh, so we're working hard to get that back. But yeah, why wouldn't why wouldn't I want to play? I don't I don't do this for no other reason. So uh, yeah, I see that too. I see the whole contract situation and all that stuff. Yeah, that stuff is just for people to talk and, and just create narratives. So. Someone trying to speculate that you might not even want to play for the Browns. Like you might be looking for somewhere else to go. Why would I do that? I, I, I'm not saying it. I'm just saying that's yeah. just some a national, someone national, you know, like threw that out there. I mean, none of those national people know me. They don't talk to me. So why would, why would anybody listen to any of that stuff? All that is speculation. So if it ain't coming from me, then all the other shit is bullshit. So. With that, let's welcome in Quincy Carrier, Untitled Unfiltered Browns coverage. Quincy, it uh, sounds like a guy who's sick of being questioned about why he's not playing. It's because his throwing shoulders hurt. What a wonderful week to be a Browns fan, right? Like, we just keep – this is just – honestly, we're veterans at this. Um, yeah, look. We just don't know, man. Like, it, we don't know what's going to go on with him. We don't know when he's coming back. It's just one of those injuries. It's difficult to timetable. We'll see when he comes back. And I think, you know, for the Browns' sake, you just have to assume that – not that he's going to be out for the whole year, but, you know, assume that you might need a, a strong plan B. Whatever that plan B may be, um, just assume that you need to pivot to that because this is an injury to where – you know, it doesn't really happen that much in football, and there's not really a game plan there for it. And it seems like something that they're going to be extra cautious with. So it's not like you could just say, hey, we're going to throw Deshaun out there for four weeks. He's going to be rock solid. Even once you get him out there to play football again, you know, it's going to be a monitor situation. So you just got to, if you're Kevin Stefanski, if you're this Cleveland Browns organization, figure out a solid plan B. Okay, we don't got Deshaun. What are we going to do? Um, and what do we need if we don't have Deshaun uh, be, to be reliably out there for the rest of the year? But that's really all they got to do there as far as Deshaun on all the speculation. You know, the best thing he could do is kind of just put his head down and get through it, you know, because um, if he comes back and he plays well, this will be a hilarious memory. But, you know, it's going to be determined on that uh, what the what the narratives are going to be at the end of the day.